Hi guys, Steph here. Okie dokie. So yesterday, yes, we were out pen hunting again. So after a, well, around about a four o'clock in the morning start, just over a two hour drive there, we went pen hunting. Um, basically, as always, we had to buy this sort of the rough with the smooth. Um, well, basically whatever we could find, if it was worthwhile, we purchased it. So let's show you what we came up with. It wasn't as fruitful as I would have liked, but hey ho, you can't win them all. So let's let's show you what we came up with in no particular order. So we've got a Parker. There we go, Parker 45. Um, this one is oh right, a nice little Schaefer fountain pen and pencil. Or is it a biro in this lovely sort of navy navy blue colour? Uh, Conway Stewart, there we go, a lovely blue marbled Conway Stewart with the instructions in the box. I think I think it's a number 15, I can't I can't recall. Um oh this one's a little bit of a of an interest. Platinum iridium pointed fountain pen. Okay, so let's open it up um, and look at that. Although it's a platinum, well, a platinum, it's actually in gorgeous condition. Um, uh, with the instructions as well, as you can see, platinum stud filling pen. It's actually, there we go, look at that. A lovely sort of brown and black marbling. As I say, I'm quite, quite surprised of the condition of this pen. But uh, I know there's people out there that collect these platinum pens. Um, this one, um, well, suffice to say, it's a Parker pen. I'm not going to show it to you because basically what it is, it's a Parker pen that I've been looking for for quite a while. Because what I've actually got, I've actually got a ballpoint and a pencil um, in, a th in a three pen box. But it was missing the fountain pen and after long last after looking I found the fountain pen so what I'll do once I've put the set together we'll do a review on that for you so stay tuned as they say what we got here the blackbird pen again in the original box look at that that's nice again with the instructions there we go, lovely gold nib. It's a lever fill pen. Make lovely everyday writers, as I say, with the original box, as you can see. And here, look at this box here. This is a quite an interesting, interesting box. If I open it up, yes, look at that. It says Waterman to the back. And what we've got is this sort of teal blue with. Um, yeah, like a chrome cap with um, the gold clips and we've got a fountain pen and pencil and this is the Waterman CF set. So, there you have it. So, that's what we came up with yesterday. No, it's not. We found a few more, obviously. So, again, without sort of choosing any particular one look at this one we've got a lovely this is a swan i think this is what they call the swan oxford fountain pen with a lovely gold nib and i think if i remember rightly because i think i reviewed one of these quite a while ago i think this is the what they term as a chancery red and it's a it's a twist filler which you turn the the knob at the end but it, either way a lovely little pen um, I'm just working from the right inwards. There we go, little Conway, uh, not Conway, a Parker, Parker pencil. We pick them up now and again. Um, yeah, little ballpoint. By looking at the clip there, I would think it's quite a modern one. Maybe, maybe a sonnet. I don't know. But again, anybody interested, it's it's there. It's available. Lovely, interesting pen. This is a Waterman. 515 it's a lovely sort of chunky fountain pen yeah it's got the the nib there it's got a black section um 
as I say, a 515 in brown. Once restored, it'll make a lovely pen for somebody. Very nice. What we got here? Another swan. Oh, I can see from this here, it says cal calligraph. So it's a maybe Todd calligraph fountain pen. And again with this sort of twist filler to the very end there. Again, that'll make a lovely pen once we've restored it. Um, yep, okay, what we've got, teal blue, as you can see there with the inlaid nib, a teal blue 61. Not my favourite pens, but hey-ho, there's people that like them particular pens. There we go. There's another lovely example. Lever filled. Yes, you can see there, Conway Stewart, broad, broad band. Lovely nib on it. Um, this is actually the Conway Stewart, I forgot what it is, let me have a look, 27. So Conway Stewart 27, very popular pens, excellent everyday writers. Once it's restored, obviously, like a lot of these pens, or should I say most of these pens, they will become available. So, you know, anybody interested in any of these, give us a shout. Um, what we've got here, let me try and have a look. Um, looks like a Mentmore fountain pen with this sort of... You see it's slightly crazed and cracked at the end there. It's a lever fill. This one has this sort of semi semi hooded nib as you can see. Um, unfortunately somebody's popped a screw to the top there but yeah not too sure what we'll do with it yet but um, yeah what we've got here is a nice Schaefer snorkel okay so this one will be fully serviced we'll clean it up Schaefer snorkels very popular pens indeed there we go a nice pack of 45 in this gold filled I think well they term these as the insignias so the the sort of top of the range within sort of the Parker when you have these gold gold colours insignias it's a pack of 45 again somebody will enjoy that um, we've got a little par uh, not Parker sorry Conway Stewart pencil there in this sort of like green colour I forget what model it is if I can sort of just look over number 2R anybody looking for a pencil there we go yep doesn't need any introduction a nice teal blue um, Parker 51 and I believe if I'm looking rightly the nib on this one is actually the tips are, or one of the tines is broken off but I've got spare nibs for these so that'll come up we'll restore that and somebody will have a nice Parker 51 yet another Schaefer is it a peri periwinkle blue do they call it I don't know or is it called the pastel blue hmm not too sure it's got the open nib this is actually the touchdown filler which means that we unscrew the end and we just well once it's serviced you press down on the tube there and that fills the pen that will be restored and again another one as with a lot of these looking for new homes another pack of 51 missing the clip I'm sure we'll find a clip for it in this classic classic black colour so there we go um, this is an interesting one this is actually a, a the Valentine Pen Company it's a Valentine pen um, if I remember rightly if you can just see the top there, I don't know if you can see it, it says well is it 04 or yeah 04 to the bottom it's got the um, Valentine Pen Company made in England on it not sure if it's the original clip, hopefully it is and look at it in this lovely sort of 
yeah it's like the herringbone pattern in mauve absolutely gorgeous the problem being is if I screw the cap on I don't know if you can see it there it's got a big crack up there it's as if it's actually running along a seam so I don't know how they made these pens maybe they were sort of you know made in one particular sheet but let's just show you again okay you can see the crack there and as I say if you look closely it runs along a seam and there look at that unfortunately we've got the same on the barrel there as if it's running again along this seam of the plastic or whatever the material is which is very much a shame it's got the original Valentine nib to it so unfortunately that will be used as spares in fact I think I may have another Valentine that is actually looking for a clip and a nib so who knows we may be able to make sort of one one pen from well from two if you like and basically last but not least look at that I think this is the most interesting pen as you can see it's a Conway Stewart with this peak peak to the top there and um, it's got a lever fill and this one I believe if I remember rightly is a 286 and it comes in this absolutely gorgeous what they term as the rock face pattern in this lovely blue and again it's got these sort of these black veins running through the blue a very attractive pen comes with the original original nib and if I remember rightly this one's actually got a lovely oblique nib to it so that one will definitely be restored hmm do I keep it or not no I, I don't know but as far as I'm aware well not I'm aware but that's the lot as far as the collection is concerned or the the haul <coughs> unfortunately there's nothing within these pens that sort of jumps out to me that is worthy to go into my pen arsenal so as I said before some of them are used as parts some will be as sold as parts most of them will be restored and most of them will be looking for new homes so get your inquiries in ASAP leave a comment down below don't be shy have you subscribed if not why not subscribe now and you don't miss these videos and last but not least everyone around the world please stay safe but for now I'll just say bye bye for now